Hi, I'm Fiona from DIY Digital and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to use free online software to change your image sizes. Now as a website owner you're going to be using a lot of images and you need to make them look good on your site and making sure they're the right size is part of that. So if you don't have Photoshop or Pixelmator or, or some of those other image manipulation software programs but you want to change your images this video is for you. The Facebook is pretty accommodating when it comes to image sizes. Pretty much anything you upload will work. However, sometimes it is beneficial to tweak the size of images for Facebook. Take a look at this for example. This is a banner image at the top of a profile or business page which I've previously resized. Now if I go back to the original image size, we can see we can't fit in the whole body from hands to legs. Facebook allows us to reposition it, and I have a choice of hands and head, but we don't see the laptop. Or if I choose the middle, I can get the head and the laptop, but I remove the hands, which I quite like as it is one of those expressive parts of the image. And then if I reposition all the way down, I lose the head completely, which is no good at all. In this example, I'll need to save the option I think is best. But I'd prefer to have the whole image in the picture, so I'll use my previously resized one. This is one example of resizing images. Now while Facebook can be pretty accommodating and you won't go far wrong regardless of what image size you upload, usually, the same cannot be said for WordPress websites. There's two things website owners like yourself need to consider with image sizes. The size of the image that can be best thought of as its weight and the size of the image dimensions. Now it can be a bit hard to get your head around the weight of an image, but if you think of a picture with a very, very heavy metal frame hanging on a light screen room divider, you can understand the divider will be unable to take the weight of that picture. Now if you consider websites, websites like lightweight pictures, that's under 100 kilobytes, as it's important for their page load speeds. Users want sites to load quickly. If you upload pictures onto your WordPress site and they are big files, and anything with an MB is a big file, you will slow down your site and annoy your users. So we need to keep image files for your WordPress sites under 100 kilobytes. The second thing to keep in mind is the dimensions. That's the width and the height of your picture. In my Facebook banner example, I resized the width of my picture to the recommended 851 pixel. Your website will come with recommended sizes for your blog posts, product images, and banners and sliders. Find out and know what the recommended sizes are for your site. I use Photoshop or Pixelmator to change my image sizes as it gives me a lot of control over what I can do. I recommend website owners look into image software that will allow you to change your photo sizes. However, if this is not likely to happen or you don't have the time, money or inclination to go down this path, there is a free online program that you can use. It's called PickResize.com and here it is. Now it looks a bit messy, it has a lot of adverts, but hey, it's free, so I guess that's to be expected. And this advert on the bottom left corner will pop up and I usually click the cross and close the ad. Focus in on the browse button. Find the picture from your computer files that you wish to resize. I'm resizing an image of a southern right whale. It can take a while, especially if you've uploaded a big image file. Click the yellow button. Here it is. Now I'm going to click the add away again because it annoys me. There are three steps to this process. Choose width, crop and choose maximum file size. Even though it is the second step according to the program's way of doing things, I've found it is much better to choose the width first. I'm going to scroll down till I get to this choice which allows me to resize the picture. Don't use percentage, choose custom size. 
Add in the width your picture is to be. On my site, the width dimension for my featured image blog post is 750 pixels across. Keep the height blank. Look over to the green estimated image size. You can see in this example it is 750 pixel by 500 pixel. Now I know that my preferred featured image blog post size is 750 pixel across and about 350 pixel down. I'm allowed to be a little bit flexible with my height, even so I think 500 pixel is a bit too high. So now let's go up to the crop section. You need to drag the cursor across the image and take a bit of a guess as to what you're aiming for. In my case, I know I want to lose some height. So if I drag across and grab almost the whole width and remove a lot of the height, I reckon I'm going to get pretty close to my preferred size. And now I can click on the crop selection button. If I look at the green estimated image size, it is now 750 pixel wide by 353 pixel high, which will work. The third and important step is to save the image as a maximum 100 kilobyte. This is one of the things that will keep your site nice and fast. There's quite a few free online image resizing programs and the reason why I like this one is that it gives you this very specific choice to save your image under 100 kilobytes. Click on the yellow I'm done resize my picture button. On this page you have a few choices. I generally save to disk and then I can save the picture to the folder of my choice. Now let's see what difference this makes on the site. Here's the blog post without resizing the image. The whale's nose is missing and it feels further away. Here's the blog post with the image resized. The whale fits completely within the frame and it's front and centre of the picture. It looks more professional. If you want to keep your website looking professional and fast, resizing images is a useful thing to know how to do. I hope this video has been useful to you and if it has, please like it and subscribe to this channel. Good luck with your website and please do visit us at diydigital.com.au.